Good morning, this is Tony and Rose Kitchen. Today I'm gonna make, I learned, I learned and I teach. Because everybody learn and everybody try to teach. Tony and Rose Kitchen from Australia. Today I've got in here to make a special focaccia. I've got six cup of sifted plain flour, two mashed potato, I mash them very well, 18 halves of green olives and 18 of halves black olives. I've got one and a half, two and a half teaspoon of yeast. I've got half of green pepper. You can use whatever you want. You can use sun-dried tomato or tomato. I've got two and a half teaspoon salt and a teaspoon of pepper and three tablespoon of oil. What, I've, what I'm going to do here, I'm going to mix the flour. I'm going to mix the flour at the moment like this with the, with the salt and pepper. Okay? Like that. So I mix them first. You know, salt and pepper. Then I put a hole in the middle, as you can see, a hole in the middle, and I throw the mashed potato here into, into the hole, because this is focaccia with mashed potato. Not much mashed potato, two small one or one large one. It's up to you, you know. So there you are, see. I put the mashed potato here with the flour, okay, with the flour. All of it. Okay. All right. There you are. Better get the whole lot out because no good. This is going to be a special focaccia. Most of the time, the Italian do this. This. So I learn from the expert, and I try to teach. Okay. And I I changed it a little bit from what they do. Because I like it better, I like it the way she did it, she's expert, but I like it better my way too. So here we go, so you mix the flour with the mashed potato, okay, okay. Now I put the, I put the oil with that, okay, I put it, uh, Three cups, uh, three tablespoons of oil. Mix it too. Okay. Now with this, I'm going to put the yeast last. Okay. So I put the yeast like that, and then I put a bit of water first with it. A little bit of warm water, not hot, please. Warm water. Okay. That's the dough. Just put warm water. This dough is going to be very soft, okay, very soft, all right, it's going to be very soft. So mix it together like that, okay, mix it, keep mixing it, and now I put the whole water in, and it's supposed to come very soft dough, okay, very soft. Now what I'm going to do with this dough after, first I mix it like that, okay. I, I will just mix it with the tablespoon or with the spatula and then you mix it with your hand after. Okay, so what I'm going to do to make it rise faster and quicker, I will heat the microwave. Okay, I will heat the microwave. I heat the uh, tea towel for about 50 seconds or a minute. Then I cover this with the glare wrap and then I will show you what I do after, okay? So at the moment I'm just mixing it with the tablespoon. You can mix it with the, uh, with the spatula too, okay? Okay, so I will show you how the pastry should come. I gave you the recipe, okay? And I will give it to you again. Okay, I'll get the spatula because I can mix it better with the spatula now. 
Now, if you mix it with your hand, you must put some oil. Okay? You must put some oil. Alright? There you are. You must put some oil. In there. So you can dip your fingers, you know? When you come and mix it. But then I show you after what I do. So I mix it with that. Keep mixing it, you know, until you get sort of a bit of a dough. Okay? I get the spatula for now and see if I can mix it better with the spatula, okay? Spatula should be here. Was here, but I don't know where it is now. Oh, here it is. There's the spatula. And keep mixing it from the bottom. Keep folding it, you know? Keep folding it like that, see? Keep folding it like that, you know? Keep folding from each side until you get a bit of a dough, okay? But the dough has put exactly the amount that I ask you, please, because otherwise it won't come nice, okay? And then I'll show you after what I need to do, okay? There's a lot of work yet to do, okay? There's a lot of work to do yet. So keep mixing it like that, keep folding it like that. See how I'm folding it? From the, bot from the bottom to the top, see? Like that. Okay. You need to do that, okay? This is very, very soft dough, okay? This is what I learn and this is what I'm teaching. Okay, and I love to teach people, and I love to do good things, and then we'll show you the results, and I'll show you how, how it's going to come after. Okay, there you go. Because the more you mix it, the better it is. The more you fold it, the better it is. Okay, there you go. But this is going to be very, very soft pastry. Okay. This is a special focaccia from a beautiful Italian lady who taught me and I will teach you. L let's hope I can make it as good as her. I'll be very happy. I made it a bit different, not much, a bit different. But she's a professional mama. Okay, so she teach me and I teach you. How about that, huh? So that's, that's that. Now, what I'm going to do now, as I said, I warm, I warm the, uh, I wash my hands, please. I wash my hands, okay. There you are. Okay. So what I'm going to do now, as I said, I'm going to warm the tea towel, which is this one or a different one you've got, for about a minute in the microwave. And then I put that in the microwave. There you are. Oh, I'm gonna throw it, doesn't matter. I warm the microwave, okay? Okay, so now I'm going to put, I'm gonna cover it with glad wrap, okay? Cover it like that, and like that, and we cut this one. So I cover it with glad wrap and I put it in the microwave to rise double. I will show you after. That's the dough, okay? That's it. Now, what, as I said to you, that is the dough. You must do the dough. Now in here, into the three or four tablespoons of oil, doesn't matter how much you put, I'm going to put two teaspoons of oregano. One, two, okay. 
two teaspoons of oregano, that's for the top. A teaspoon of basil, okay, teaspoon of basil. Like that. And I mix them with the oil. I will mix them with the oil. Two, two tablespoon oregano, uh, two teaspoon oregano and two teaspoon basil. Okay? There you are. Mix them all together because they gotta go on top. Okay? There you are. Now, as I said, I got 16 or 18 halves of green olives. Same amount of black olive. I got green pepper, chopped very small. Okay, I've got oregano and basil. All right, and with them, I'm going to put a teaspoon of crushed garlic as well. Okay, so it'll be, be, it'll be nice with garlic as well. So there you are, and I mix everything. The oregano, the oil, the garlic, and the basil. Mix them together. I will show you after what I'm going to do. When the dough rise up, you don't have to press it again. You just uh, spread it on a dish or on a tray or whatever. I've got a here a tray. This is a burning tray. I like to burn my dishes. Okay, so it's not dirty or anything. It's bad. But I, my daughter bought me this from Aldi. This is... Uh, oven bake like plastic sheet to bake okay so i put it there and then what i do before i put the pastry i will paste it all with oil all with oil and then i lay the pastry and i put the filling on top at the same time i'll do something extra i will spread a bit of uh, mozzarella cheese on top not too much because i want to show the color okay or I do the mozzarella first, and then I will put the top, the color on top of it. The olives, the basil, the green peppers, you can put sun-dried tomato, you can put fresh tomato. You can do whatever you like to suit your uh, appetite and to suit your taste. But now, we'll wait until, until the dough double. Once the dough double, take it off, put some oil in your hand, and throw straight into the dish. Put the oven on 10 minutes or 15 minutes before and then lower it in 200 Celsius. 200 Celsius for around about 40 minutes or forever. But I tell you the time because this is my first time I'm doing. They teach me and I teach you. How about that? I love that. So here we go. So I gave you how to make the dough. Now it's in the microwave, but don't forget the microwave, after you heated the tea towels, you must switch it off. You can't put any stainless steel or anything, uh, steel or any milieu into the microwave if the microwave is on. So I heat the tea towels, two tea towels, okay, in the microwave for 50 seconds, you know, or you can do it for a minute. Don't do it too much because it could burn the tea towels. So... Leave it there for about a minute and then you, you cover the tin. You can put it in a glass bowl if you want or leave it in the stainless steel bowl. It doesn't matter. And put it in the microwave and leave it there. And now and then, if it doesn't rise, take it off. Put heat the tea towels again for 50 seconds and put it back. It, within the half an hour, it should rise up. Okay, but if it doesn't, take it off, heat the towels again. For 50 seconds, once the 50 seconds, the microwave is off, put it back in. Okay, it might take half an hour, it might take an hour. If it's a hot day, you can leave it on the bench. But today is not that hot, it's warm, but not that hot. And I like the microwave anyway, because it will rise up straight away. God bless you. Tony and Rose Kitchen always.